greetings from anup kelkas pathan academy welcome students so today we are see the problem statement from data limer on second day confirmation this question has been asked in during the tiktok sql tiktok recruitment let me first uh, sign up for you sign in here yeah so let's see uh, what is the problem statement the problem statement is given so assume you are given table with information about tiktok user sign ups <clears throat> and confirmation through email so basically we have given uh, two tables that is a email and second one is a another table as a text to okay so by using their sign ups tiktok sign up using their email address and upon sign up each during the sign up each of the user receive a text message to confirm their accounts and activate their accounts okay so basically we have to write a query which display the user ids of those who did not confirm their sign up on the first day that means we have to find the those users those who had confirmed second day we have to find their we have to fetch their user ids those for those users those who have sign up sign up should be confirmed on the next day okay so here are some of the definitions are given to you first one is the action date okay so action date which refers to the date when user activate their accounts and confirm their sign up message through the text message okay so here the email table we have basically three columns email id their data type is integer user id again it is a data type is integer sign up date on which date they had created their accounts sign up action sign up dates and date time so let's see what is the data given to us in the table so in in email table basically we have two table <coughs> in email table email id is given to you user id okay user id is of course unique on which date they had sign up on which date they had created their account okay in the very next table text table in text table we have four uh column names that is a text id it is a integer type email id integer type sign up action it again it is a string type in sign up action we have either confirm or not confirm okay those you have say, uh, confirmed they will, they will show the confirm or those who are con not confirmed they will represent as in not not confirm action date on which date they had uh, entered their text code that is a date time so in the action date data may be consist of a date along with time an actual data is given to us in the table text table so in text table text id is there they have shown the by which id they had sign up their actions sorry sign up their email email id sign up action if they had entered their text message which were sent to the user then it is a confirm otherwise not confirm on which date they had confirm so that date time is also given to us as an action table sorry as an action action date column and output is there so basically as an output we have to show on the user id so user id 1052 is there those who have confirmed their account as in second day not first day okay so up till now we will get an idea uh, we have basically two table first one is a email table second one is a text table and based on two table we have to fetch the email id for those user those who had confirm on the next day that is a second day confirmation okay so let's see how we will move to the query part so before that first we move to the <coughs> query first we will uh, write joins select from emails 
as a e1 we will give the table alias as in e1 e as an alias of the table email then we will use joins operation so for that we will use join after that join we will join the next table that is a text table that is a t1 okay and now we will try to apply the match key so we will try to use the as in table alias of the column email of the column email id email id if the email id is equal to the email id of the text table that is a t1 t1 dot if it is equal if it is match sorry then we will use another join that is a now we will try to join the second table as in text this time we had given the user id as in t2 why we are giving the t1 and t2 we will let clear in few seconds here we are trying to match the column of the table email email table that is a e as in table alias e dot email id which is equal to the second text table that is a t2 okay so now we have to write the condition t1 t1 as in text one t1 dot email id sorry t1 dot sign up action if the sign up action is not confirmed so t1 is denote to the not confirm sign up action then we will use another condition for that we will use and operator we were trying to fetch the date from the action date which consists of data in a form of date time manner so for that we will if you want to get the date so for that you will use date method from the text t1 table t1 is a text table from the action date column if it is equal to the <coughs> if it is equal to the if their date is equal to the sign up date of email table and next code will be used for the sign up action where the sign up action is confirmed so for that we again we will use and operator and t2 dot sign up action is confirmed and furthermore we have to use date operator as in t2 dot action date where the action date is also match with the sign up date of the table emails for that we will write e dot
sign up date but here we have to find the sign up for the very next date so for that we will use here <coughs> interval and for interval we, we have to we want the in confirmation date of those users those who had confirm on the next day so for that we will use here interval of first day for that we will write here interval 1 day next we will end with the semicolon so basically here we had completed our code so basically let me first uh, explain you this query so basically in this query we are using the two table as in join as in first table is a email for the email table we are using the table alias as an e second table is a text for that we are using the table alias as in t1 if the matching column of the both the table is email id so for that we are trying to match the email id of both the table email id is a column of both the table for that we have taken the email id of emails table as an e dot email id <coughs> if it is equal to the email id of t1 that is a text table again we are trying to join the another condition and here we are trying to match the email id of email table and text to table so for that we have written e dot email id equals to t2 dot email id now we have to pass the condition where the sign up action we have to find the sign up action we have to find the date of the sign up action and sign up action is confirmed either it is confirmed or not confirmed okay so we have if it is not confirmed that means they are on which date it is not confirmed and if they are confirmed so we have to get the date for those record which is confirmed but it is on second day okay so for that we had using a date which will fetch the date value from the sign up date in which we get with in which the data is ex contain date time manner so it will in from the date time data it will get only date with the help of date function and we were trying to fetch the very next day on which date they had confirmed the text message so for that here we are trying to get the second day of the confirmation so for that we are using interval of first day that will be added to the sign up date so for that we will use the uh, second day confirmation so likewise we have tried to write this code uh, let now we will uh, try to run this code we will see whether we will get expected output or not that is let will be run this code there will be a error syntax error at or near line number 9 Some error is there. different is there let's see what is the provided solution for this yeah basically we have to write the uh, one day as in a form of string now we will see whether it will run correctly or not
your query output doesn't match with the solutions output let's see what is the problem here actually it is correct Actually, some problems there. Suppose we are uh, not confirming this one. Now we will try to run this one.
let me first confirm this one Let me try to use this one. So with this table we are getting the output as in 1052. Here from the email and text table we are trying to find the common column that is the email id through which through this column we are trying to set a match key for that we are using inner join and inner join is used when the one column which is common in both the table for that we are using the matching key as in emails dot email id is equal to text dot text text dot email id we have to find out the sign up for the next day <clears throat> that is confirmation for the second day so for the second day we are uh, try to write the sign up date with an interval of one day it we will add we will try to add one day on the sign up date for that we are using emails dot sign up date and in this uh, whatever sign up date is there we have to add one more day for that we are using here interval okay so with the help of interval plus how how many aid you want to add how many days you want to add that you have to write followed by the interval so for that we are trying to get the next day for that we are writing as a one day in string form and so it will when it will be match the sign up of second day to the action date of text table or if the sign up action is confirmed then we have to fetch then we have to get the user id so these are the user id those who have uh, the those who are sign up those who had confirmed their sign up on the second day okay so we will get the user id as in uh, 1052 and 1235 these are the two users those who have confirmed their sign up on the second day therefore we call it as a second day confirmation okay so likewise we were trying to get the second day confirmation i hope you will get uh, knowledge from it so before moving to this question first you have to brush up your joint skill okay then we will um, practice for this question i hope this will be helpful for you if you have any doubt regarding this query please do comment us thank you have a nice day